Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm coming at you today with some jelly printing. Yay! I haven't jelly printed for a few weeks, so I'm glad I'm doing some jelly printing. Um, and I wanted to jelly print with lace as my like texture plate to put into the jelly plate and also embossing folders. So that's what we're going to do today. But what I wanted to do is I just wanted to share with you my art journal for like two seconds and then we're going to get started. Because a lot of people wonder, what do you do with jelly prints? Okay? Like, what are you doing all these jelly prints for? How can you use them? Look what you can do. Okay? These are pages in my art journal. You can do uh, collages with them and do them in your art journal. You can um, use them in junk journaling, glue books. You can use them to cover. You can use them like scrapbook paper and cover things. Okay? You can make your own collage type of uh, on canvas and make art for your walls they can be used as backgrounds and then you could put a focal point on top of them so you can do so much with these collage papers so I just want to show you in my art journal what I've done and I like to art journal and junk journal so sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll do some junk journaling and for me the junk journaling is definitely throw in a pocket so I can throw in some goodies but all this is art this is all um, these are all jelly prints. And then I scraped paint on it and did a bunch of other stuff. But So I just want to share with you quickly the kind of stuff you can do. Especially with my style. My style is very old world. Um, very grungy. These are all jelly prints. I love it. More jelly prints. And then this is the junk journaling type of page. Still, I use jelly prints and collaged them. And then I did a bunch of mark making on top of it. But then I have all these goodies here that I put into the pockets. Okay. So I just wanted to quickly share. So you, so you, I need to do that page. So you just know that you can use, these are all jelly prints. And look how they're beautiful they are all collaged together. With some stenciling, some mark making, you know. This is uh, using my jelly prints and then using a jean pocket, um, kind of like junk journaling, but using a jean pocket, which I think is so cool, and a doily and different stuff for focal points on top of your collage. More collaging here. Then I'll do some butterflies. Some of these are like Tim Holtz looking stickers, but you get them at Dollar Tree. See? Pick those up in the craft section if you see them. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you so you have an idea of what you can do with jelly plates, with uh, jelly prints. I have tons of videos, just go under my mixed media videos and my jelly printing. I have plenty of videos doing these collages on canvases, in my art journal, on all kinds of stuff. Okay. And that's just one. Oh, let me show you this. This is just one of my art journals. And this is the my cover. How I did this, this is called... Um, Vinebear style uh, assemblage type of art, and I did that on my um, on my cover. I love it. Isn't that fabulous? I'm so addicted. This is another type of collage, but it's assemblage. You're using artifacts. You can use broken bits of jewelry, all kinds of stuff. I like to use um, broken bits of jewelry and screws and all kinds of stuff. Any little thing you find. Things from Dollar Tree, even. But these, a lot of these are molded pieces from molds. So, anyway. And I have videos on that, too, of how to do that. Okay, so let me bring my jelly plate into the picture. In fact, I'm, gonna, um, I'm going to pause you guys, get set up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, this is a big... Um, what is this? This is a jumbo plate. <coughs> I think it's like a 17 by 14, something like this. And it's a homemade uh, jelly plate. I absolutely am obsessed with a 17 by like 14 jelly plate. You can do big sheets or you can do two at a time. So you get double the fun. Um, also, I have a video go under jelly plates. Um, under jelly printing and also I think I have a I have another uh, I have a I'm trying to think how I listed it 
look under my jelly plate videos and I believe that's where it tells you how to make the homemade jelly plate and I'll try to make sure that I um, uh, connect that video on the end of this also it might be under how to make a jelly plate but if it's not that look under my jelly print video jelly printing videos and how to make a jelly plate is there it's so much cheaper if you were to buy a um, let me get started while I'm talking if you were to buy a uh, Uh, 14 by 17 uh, jelly plate you would be paying I'm gonna use this red oxide you would be paying um, like 80 bucks it's like super expensive so um, and here you're gonna spend around $15 so that's a big difference and you can have a jumbo plate all right, the colors I'm using here is I am using, I'm using these Master Touch paints, okay? Um, these I got for $2.49. They're normally like 10 bucks, so this is a great deal. These are both Master's Touch. It's some just some old, these are just some different um, packaging. This I got for $1.49, so always be looking at Hobby Lobby around this time in January. They start clearancing their paints between now and the next four or five months. Um, and these are the fine artist paints and using them on your jelly plate because they're thicker. You guys are so much. They're nice. Um, it leaves more stuff stuck than just the crafts paint and you get that more old wall look. So if you can make the investment, these are great. They are. These are five ninety nine. dollars Oh, this is thick body. That's why this is normally 10. But this one right here of Master's Touch is only five ninety nine. So 50% off. You only pay three bucks if you go on the 50% off week. Okay. So, but they're well worth their investment because um, it helps you get that old world look. Now, you can still get that old world look with just the cheap craft paints, okay? So, if that's what you have, I use those too. And I intermix them with these. So, um, but um, every year, Hobby Lobby clearance starts their clearances right around now. In the next week or two, they'll be clearancing. And um, so it's a good time to buy your paint. So just be watching videos when you see the Hobby Lobby 75% off clearances. Watch mine, watch other people's, and you'll know when the paint's coming. Um, this is a transparent burnt umber. And these are a thick body. I've never used these thick body ones. And I've never used a burnt transparent because they're 10 bucks. But since I got them on clearance for $2.49, yes. And when you see paints like that, buy a bunch. Just buy which, as much as you can because that's a good deal. Um, I also want to, these are all very neutral, natural colors. Um, I want to add some white. I was watching Robin McClendon last, I watch her all the time, but I was watching her and she threw in white with all the browns and all the neutral colors and it gave like a little relief and it looked really cool. It made it look even more old world. So I thought, you know, I want to experiment with that adding white. Okay, we're going to add one more color and then we're done with this one. Okay, I'm going to add a little turquoise. I love turquoise with browns. And what I wanted to do was instead of doing like um, one color here, one color here, I wanted to do it like this all over the plate. I want to experiment with that because I've seen people do it. And it comes just even a more interesting look, in my opinion. All right, so let's begin. I want to make sure I'm still in frame here. There we go. Can't see the very bottom of this, but we're fine. Um, And it may take um, a little bit to get the plate really, really going. So um, I haven't jelly plated on this for a while, for a few weeks. So sometimes it takes your plate a little bit of time to get juicy and to get really good. What I'm doing there is if I see um, any paint, especially the thick, like those extra thick body ones, sometimes they have a little bit of a hard time breaking up. I just got to... Just kind of move them around a little bit more. Okay. Oh, you know what I almost forgot? 
Okay, you have to have a roll off page, okay, to roll off your ruler. And I love to use magazine pages for that. For one, it makes, they make beautiful um, jelly prints on their own, just the roll off sheets. And acrylic paint on um, magazine sheets just feels so good. It feels good. It collages like down like butter. So sometimes I also use um, the magazine pages, um, not just for roll-offs, I'll use it as actual paper that I print on. So let me just, oops, let me just rip out some magazine sheets here so we can print on some of those so I can show you what I mean. Okay. All right, so now we need to put, we're going to, remember I said we're going to use That we're going to use lace and we're going to use um, embossing folders so here's a piece of lace I've used it a lot of times okay but I thought this the combination of just doing lace and doing let me see if I need to have this light on all right let me try shutting this window I want to make sure the lighting is good in here Sometimes the light coming through the, there we go. Sometimes the light coming through the window is not great. And then let me see if I need to turn this off. No, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna use this piece of lace. Okay. Oh! All right, there we go. I almost had a, almost had a nice little crash there. All right, so I'm gonna roll that down like that. So we're putting some impressions into the into the um, into the paint and we're gonna, I'm rolling off on my magazine. My magazine sheet is over here to the side. You really can't see it but okay and then let's take an embossing folder. This is a really cool embossing folder. See? It's a Tim Holtz one. And let's just do some of that right here. Now some of you are probably having a heart attack. Like, oh my God, she just ruined her damn embossing folder. Kind of, I can still use them. Um, but I wanna use this one, check this out. This is like an electric board. But I don't use my embossing folders. I wasn't using them. So for me, press that down really good. For me, it's fine because I don't use my embossing folders. And now I use my embossing folders. So if you do use your embossing folders and you wanna do this, just choose a few of your embossing folders. Oh, and also you want ones that have some, that like have some space in between them, okay? I'm going to show you for example like this is a watch one don't do the really super intricate ones because it, it, I don't know they don't show up very well but you just need to have a little bit of space in between see that's a postage stamp one which I think is fabulous okay so I just wanted to share that with you and then I have one little space left over here and I have a small piece of lace okay I have this little small piece of lace and this is not even a uh, fabric lace this is lace from um, that is lace from um, Daiso that was a plastic placemat uh, plastic placemat that was cut out like lace which I thought was cool so I bought it for jelly printing so always be paying attention wherever you're at of things that you can use in your jelly printing. All right, this is some um, really nice paper. I love it. It's really nice. And, oh, let me take this off. It's really nice and thick. I think it's drawing paper. You know, I can tell you right now what it is. Because I have it. It is... And I got this for a really good price 
on clearance. Oh, it's parchment. It's Strathmore parchment paper, okay? Hobby Lobby this time also in the next couple of months, between now and the next couple of months, will clearance also in the fine art section the paint and also the uh, paper. So be paying attention. Also, the craft paint in the craft section will be getting clearance off, which will be perfect for your jelly plate. Okay. So this one, I'm using one. This I love these sheets because they're really big, and they fit my um, they fit my plate. Oh, very cool. And a bunch was left on the plate, which is going to be even... Oh, I, I can't believe this is my first pull. Oh, look at the yumminess on here. See how it looks like an old wall? Looks very old world. Love that right there. That looks so cool. Look at that. What a fabulous first print. Crazy. Crazy good. Okay. Um, this is what you can do too. Especially if you want to pick up. I want to pick up a bunch of this off of the plate. Because this just. Well, Yeah, yeah I do. Because it just looks really cool. Sometimes I just go ahead and just leave this here. And then add more color. And then do a whole nother. You know, put some more lace down, more embossing folds, and do another print. And you can do that. But on this, I'm loving what's left on the plate. Look how much goodness. And what you can do to lift that up is you can take this metallic rose gold, and you have to use the craft kind, not the um, not the uh, artist grade, because those are more you can you can't see through them. These are very transparent. Okay, so make sure it's the craft metallic paints. Which one is this one? Rose gold. You can use rose gold. You can use just gold. You can also do a glazing with these. So you can just, if, if there was no paint on this plate, you put this on the plate, on a plain plate with no other paint. Take one of your prints, put that on top of here, and you can put a glaze over it. In fact, I'll show it to you. I'll show you how to glaze. And I did learn the glazing from Robin McClendon a long time ago. And I love it. She has, you guys check out Rob McClendon. She's always in my description of my videos, my mixed media videos. So check her out. She is awesome. She even has a book on jelly printing. I, don't, I haven't got the book, but I would, I would like to get it. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to put any more, I'm not going to put anything else on here like lace or anything. Because there's a lot of print still left on here from last time. So let's just see what we come up with. Oh, I've missed jelly printing. Not jelly printing for a few weeks. I gotta get, I, t I said I was gonna do that for my series. I have a series saying, um, collage your way to happiness because collage just, it, it, it uh, really um, kicks in those happy endorphins. It's very freeing, it's great fun, and it's beautiful. So I say collage, your, collage yourself to happiness because it makes me happy when I'm collaging. And um, I'd like to do, Every week, do a jelly printing technique and then do a collage with it. So, and whatever other videos, but I want to make sure I do that. And I've had a lot of people go, oh, I want to see a jelly printing video. It's been a little while. <laughs> and it has been a little while. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this. Look, look how old wall it is. I love the, the, the bits right here of the... Uh, turquoise paint coming through. Isn't that pretty? And then there's a little bit of metallic to it. Let me show you how you glaze it. Like, let me glaze this piece right here, okay? And it changes it. Now, there's hardly any paint on here now, 
So this is how you can glaze, where there's not really any paint on your plate. You can take a jelly print that you like or a jelly print that you don't like. And this also really works good for a, 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 print, a jelly print that you don't like. Um, you can just print over it a second or third time till you like that print, okay? But also, you can do a glazing over it. And a lot of times that will... Um, you can do a glazing over it and that will improve your print. Grab a little bit of tea here. Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm just looking at it myself real quick. Okay. I don't know if you can see it or not because it's a metallic finish. It's a real pretty metallic finish. But look how it just how it just brought the whole thing together more. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see. I'm going to go like this. I don't know if you can see the metallic or not. Okay. Metallic is kind of hard to see on camera, but trust me, gla you can glaze your pieces, your prints, your jelly prints, and it could just be gorgeous. I love this, and this would be good to do mark making all over it. I do that a lot, um, where I'll do my um, intuitive uh, script, I'll do my intuitive um, symbols, or I'll do all kinds of mark making on this. You can do all kinds of stamping on this with your really cool stamps. And it'd be a great background for that, or just use it as is. Beautiful. All right, let's keep going. All right, I love this turquoise color. This again, the Master's Touch. Um, this is like that turquoisey green color. It's called emerald, but to me, it's like that. It's like that turquoise color. You know, turquoise can be kind of like the aqua blue, but this I have turquoise rings that have this color turquoise, and I love it. All right, there's that. Um, I'm going to do two different browns this time. I'm going to do this dark brown, and this is transparent, like I said, so it's kind of cool. And then I'm going to use this brown, too. This is Delta. Remember I told you, now you can use just regular acrylic paints, cheapy acrylic paints, but I got this for a great price. Okay, regularly, uh, was it $5.99? Got it for $1.49, and this is in the craft section. And the reason I say these things, you guys, about prices all the time is because, you know, that's going to be the first thing you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't afford all that paint. Yes, you can. Shop the clearances at Hobby Lobby. Also, Walmart always has the craft paints dirt cheap. Um, I'm just looking for my scissors um, for I think 50 cents so you can just go there get your favorite colors and start jelly printing and not have to spend a fortune and um, if you want a jelly plate will cost you about 20 25 dollars like if you just want the regular size but if you want to make it you can make it for around 15 bucks like I said check out that video it's under um, my jelly printing videos, or it's by itself, how to make a jelly plate. I can't remember where I put it at. So it's in either one of those, you'll find it. And like I said, I will try to make sure that I put a um, link to that at the end. Like on the screen, you know how you have links and you can just touch it at the end. So you can make your own jelly plate if you don't have one. Or if you want the big jumbo like I have. Okay, what else do I want to do? Let's do a little bit of um, gray in this one. Okay. 
Okay. And again, $1.49, regularly $5.99, cer ceramic coat. And let's add a little bit of white. You know, let's do a second color of turquoise. Master's Touch used to come. This was another old one. I've ended up getting these for 99 cents. Look how big they are because they stopped making this um, packaging. I got this like years ago. And I, ugh, I went ape on those. All right, this is enough here. Let's add white and then we're done. I went ape on, <laughs> on these paints because I was like, uh, yes, ma'am. We have to have 99 cents for paints this big. Oh my goodness. I was like, yeah. And at the time, was I jelly printing when I found those? I don't even know if I was jelly printing at that time. Anyway, I still have paint from that. That was like five years ago. I still have paints. And as long as you keep your paints in a good area that's uh, nice and cool, like don't keep your, your paints in the garage or they're going to dry out. I did that before. Um, then uh, your paints can last for a long time. Without a problem. You know, I feel like I need more brown. Maybe I don't, but I feel like I do. So let me just try putting a little bit more. Oh, this one's. Some people don't like to put a lot of paint on their, um, on their plate. I like a lot of paint. So you may see some people who do um, jelly printing and they may say, you know, don't use a lot of paint. But personally, I like a lot of paint. Let me move my tea. I don't want to get paint in there. And I just saw some paint flick. <laughs> I'm like, don't go into my tea. Okay, there we go. That was just looking too blue for me. I like the blue, but not that much blue. Just a second, let me scoop this. <coughs> there we go, give myself a little more room. Let's go to another piece of lace. All right, let's go to this piece. So here's another piece of lace. Okay, and what's kind of nice about this lace is the lace gets really nice and st gets kind of stiff once you've um, used it, which really helps with the jelly printing. I like that layer of acrylic paint on the lace. Oh, I just thought about something. This would be cool to cut a little piece off and when I'm collaging, when I collage, I don't just like to use jelly prints and, print, and printables and documents, which I do all that. Um, and different languages I like to put into my uh, collages and my mixed media backgrounds. But I also like to put, use fabric uh, rust dyed fabrics and all kinds of cool stuff. Cutting up some of this and putting them in your collages would be cool. In my opinion. Oh, wait, that probably put a nice little design. I have a little down here that, that didn't hit. So let's just take this embossing folder and do that here at the bottom. All right, let's see what we get. Um, let me use some different paper so, so I can show you different types of paper that you can print on. My favorite is this really cool 
parchment from the art section. It's just a really thick, it's almost like a thick construction type of paper, but not too thick because it'll still collage down nice. Um, but um, I have some, um, here it is. This is, I, this is my, uh, my other favorite is um, Japanese calligraphy paper. And I get it from Daiso for $1.75 a pack. I absolutely love it. It's right here. And I, and it's, they say, some of them say extra thick. Get the extra thick ones if you can. The other ones that aren't extra thick are good too. But the extra thick I like the most because it really pulls a lot of good paint up off of the plate. Also, I like to get the ones that have a little bit of a beige color to them. All prints on white, but it's just kind of nice. Because like little spaces fill in with that, with the beige part of the paper. The next one I do, I'm going to use all embossing folders and no lace. Ooh, look at this. Very cool. So if you've never seen my style before, I'm always trying to get that old wall, old world look. Okay. I always like want mine to look like it's an old dilapidated wall and um, from a long time ago. I like that. That's pretty. I think that this one would be really nice with some with uh, glazed over it. We're going to glaze this one. I'm going to put this to the side to glaze it. Ooh, I just love the way this one turned out. We're not glazing this. We're just leaving it the way it is. I love it. Look at that. It almost looks like right in here, it looks like the back of a turtle, doesn't it? Beautiful. Um, I'm loving this, but I feel like I want a little bit of the red oxide or the raw sienna. So let's throw some uh, red sienna in here. Hopefully, yeah, this one's open. I'm just going to throw a little bit of red sienna on here. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's a little bit in my life. <laughs> People are like, oh, okay. You know what else I'm going to throw on here? Some, um, this is, um... I got it for $1.49. Last year they clearanced these out. These were $5.99. I got them for $1.49. There was a couple of colors they clearanced out for $1.49. And I love it. They call this a brown red. It's a um, copper color. And it's metallic. Oh. It's one of... They, 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 I couldn't believe it. They uh, clearanced out this color and gold. And I love to put gold in my work. And I love to put this copper color. So I just... Oh. I seen those. I was like, clear the shelf. Don't feel too guilty about clearing the shelf. When you see stuff like this that's on clearance and this is your thing and this is what you do because mm -hmm. then you can get paint for the year. You don't have to worry about, you know, buying paint at the regular price or even the sale price because you stocked up um when it was on clearance i'm looking for my gold where the heck is it here it is see dollar 49 for antique gold what i couldn't believe it now i'm not going to add any more pattern in here because there's a lot of pattern on here from the last time You know what? I lied. Maybe I am going to add some patterning in here because that's a lot of paint. All right, let's add some patterning in here. <laughs> I'm all, I lied. <laughs> Not on purpose. Oh, this is pretty. And you just keep doing your roll off sheet until, look at that. Isn't that cool? Look how it looks like some old dilapidated wall. I love that. Love it. All right, like I said, I, this time I said I'm just going to use all 
embossing folders. So this is this one. It's um, postal stamps. Let's put that there. Get a nice imprint. Oh, you know what will go with that really well? Clocks. Watch faces. And that's another thing. They, um, the clearance um, embossing folders around this time, between now and the next four months, they, every week they have a clearance. And they clearance out different stuff. And they clearance out embossing folders a lot of times. So pick up the embossing folders at a good price, especially if you're going to use them on your jelly plate. Uh, look at this, gears. Oh, I think this is a Tim Holtz one. Yeah, it is. Tim Holtz would be like, girl, what are you doing? You just used my embossing folders <laughs> on a jelly plate. I'm sickened. Oh, here's another one that I, oh, look at this one. A license plate. Let's throw that one on here too. Okay, so we have this. Let's move those. This is going to be cool. We have stuff underneath. We have stuff we just put on here. This is all license plate. Isn't that a cool one? I think that's another Tim Holtz, is it? Nope, it's a Doris. Um, Doris at uh, Joanne's used to sell their emboss, like on sale, would have their um, embossing folders like this. You can get it for 99 cents. This was a few years ago. But they'll probably at least have them for $1.99 now on clearance if they still carry them. Joanne's is weird right now. They say they're not closing, but mine, they're not, they don't mop the floors anymore. You know how it used to smell really good when you walked in? They always had that certain, that real good cinnamon, that Christmassy cinnamon smell, like cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger. At least mine did. They don't have it anymore, no and they don't mop the floors. Um, the carts have aren't wiped down. I wipe mine down. Um, it's just nasty in there. The shelves are like half stocked. I don't know. We're not on the list for ones going out of business, but they're not treating their store very good. Okay. I am going to use a piece of the Japanese calligraphy paper on here. Okay. There we go. And then I'll tell you another good thing is deli paper. You get deli paper. I get mine from Sam's Club. Okay. And the one I got, let me see if it says deli. It said deli paper, but only on the side, so it was really hard to find. I think it says, it's what they wrap sandwiches in, so it may say sandwich wrap. Okay. So read the sides of the box, because it may not say deli paper right on the front. Mine said deli paper on the side. And I think it said sandwich wrap or whatever. If it says sandwich wrap, that's the deli paper. It's the stuff they use when they're going, you know, when you go to get the meat from the deli. But it, it, ugh, if you haven't um, jelly printed with deli paper, you have to. It just, it collages down so beautifully. It's nice. Oh, this is cool really cool I can't believe I'm getting such a good such good prints um, and I, I my jelly plate I haven't even used it for weeks look how pretty this is isn't that gorgeous oh I just love it this is gorgeous and look how old wallet looks look at the gears right there how cool that looks and I think the mixture of mixing up the different um, embossing folders on one, you know, on one on just one whole session here looks really good. Even mixing, of course, the embossing folders with the lace. Um, instead of just doing all the same embossing folder, which could look really cool too, but the mix gives you, I think, a really interesting, just makes it really interesting looking. Oh, this is cool too. Love it! Check this out. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh. 
beautiful. You know what I'm going to do? I said I was going to glaze this one. because I'm not. I, I like this one okay, but I don't love it. So what we're going to do is a thing called patching. Um, I could glaze this and make it better. But what patching is, is you just go to the plate when it's like this especially. And you can just patch. Like just, I'll show you. Instead of talking, let me show you. Just take a piece and patch it on. And I saw Robin McClendon do this, this patching. And um, it's just really, really cool. very cool and you don't really need to worry about the whole paper being perfect as long as you like bits and pieces of your jelly print you're good you don't have to have the whole thing be perfect if you like a certain <coughs> segment be done with it and and have it for just that segment you know And you can do whole things like this, even if I just put on the um, paint and then put on, you know, uh, a piece of lace or the um, embossing folders. Um, you could just, you don't have to put your sheet all the way down. You could just do patchwork and come up with really cool stuff. I love this. Very, very cool. See, now I like this even more that I patchworked this. And I'm gonna do one other thing, is take some, um, some white and just do some, uh, just patchwork some white here and there. Not a whole lot of white everywhere, just a little bit here and there. You know, I have, I have another one of these. One year I was able to get these for like two bucks a piece uh, on, at that clearance that they have right now. That's going to be happening here in the next week or two. That was fabulous. You know, let's just go ahead and put the white on this whole plate because white is also a color that you can uh, clean your plate with any light color you can but white's another one you can clean your plate with and, and pick up whatever's on the plate and sometimes that's really really cool so we'll do that plus I'm gonna do a little patchwork we're gonna do both let me show you what I'm talking about let me show you show you show you all right so I'm gonna um this is what this is looking like so far okay very old wall I like it, but I just want to do a little white patching work here and there. Cool. Oh, I love that. See what throwing a little white does on it? It just breaks things up and gives a bit of relief to the eye, especially when something was as crazy as this was. I really like that. Just a little bit. So we're doing patchwork with just the white. See, look at that. I love it. Now I like this better. See how that little bit of white, it, it what it did is there was a lot of craziness going on on this one. It's all crazy, but but it kind of brings it back a little bit, okay? I'm, and now I'm really in love with this piece. Oh, okay. 
I'm glad I saw that on Robin McClendon's channel. I was like, oh, I like that. All right, so I'm going to take um, my parchment paper. And I'm going to um, go ahead and take what's ever left on this plate. And let's pull up. And we'll work for another 10 minutes and we'll probably be done with this session. How long have we been on here? 45 minutes. Yeah, we're going to work another 10 to 15 minutes. We'll work for another 15 minutes. God, it's almost been an hour. Crazy. I love a good jelly printing session. Oh, look, this must have dried up, so not too much came off, look. Okay, so let's just put a bunch more uh, white on here. And see, we're just gonna see what's left on this plate. I'm just kind of curious. All right, so I put a bunch of white on here. Let's also just mix it up a little bit, the white. Let's also add a little bit of this uh, metallic gold. That just hit me, I don't know why. You do whatever you want to do. Alright. Let me get the... I don't want this to dry on here again. <laughs> so I want to pull up whatever is on here. So if you want to clean your plate, you can clean your plate with white. Um, a light color is the best. You can use white. You can use this metallic gold. You can also use this taupey color, which is one of my favorite colors to use, and I haven't used it very much today. Oh, where is it? This color. It's called warm gray, but it's like a taupe color. In fact, I think I need more of it. I don't think I have, I think I have two tubes that are almost empty. Yeah, I gotta leave that tube out so I get myself some more of that color. <clears throat> so what I do is uh, when they're 50% off or 40% off, then I go and get more. Yeah, I have, yeah, both my tubes are low. So I gotta get more of that color. Let's do shades of, let's do black and white. And it's shades of black and white. So we can do white, gray, taupe. Let's do one of those after this. And sometimes this comes out really, really just so cool. And sometimes it doesn't come out that great at all <laughs> doing this. So that's just kind of fun of it. We get to kind of check it out. Yeah, see, there wasn't that much it didn't really do as much but we'll just print right on we'll just do another jelly print right on top of this let's do just gold see if we can get some more of this up this is just the gold let's see what we can pull up with just the gold we'll go right back over that same sheet and if you don't like it just put it aside and print on it again. No major. Not every sheet's going to be a masterpiece, and that's fine. I've been doing this for quite quite a few years, and see, I get pages that don't look that great. No major. So I just put um, the metallic gold on there. I want to try to pull it more off of this plate and see what, what, what's been left. Huh, 
not much is going to come off. So we'll just go ahead and let this dry. Let's put some more color down. Let's do shades. Just a second. I got stuff falling everywhere. Go on, let me drink some tea. Okay. Let's do shades of black and white. So we have enough white down here, so I'm not going to put white, but I'm going to put this at chef, uh, this gray, which is kind of a shade between a white and a, and a gray. So to me, shades of black and white are gray, uh, different shades of white like beige. So we're doing that. Oh my gosh, I am really low on this. My favorite, one of my favorite colors, this putty color. Ooh, goodness. I've got to get it, make a trip to Hobby Lobby. Okay, I'm gonna keep that out. Okay, so we got that putty color. This is gray. Let's put some gray on here. Let's put on some black. Again, I couldn't believe they were clearancing out the black for $1.49. Regularly fine because usually colors like black they sell good so they don't usually clearance those out. They were clearancing out black. I was like yes, and I got white for this price too. Okay, and let me see if there's any other colors. <clears throat> and you know what? We can throw on some gold on here, even though we're doing black and white. Gold is neutral in my world. Gold is neutral. Okay. So let's see what we get with this. You know, it almost looks too dark, so let's let's add a little white on top of here. I had a lot of white on the plate, so that's why I didn't think that we need to add any more white, but that is a little bit of white. I do feel like we need a little bit more. There we go. get with this. All right, let's add a piece of lace on. Uh, let me go to a piece of lace that I haven't used yet. I'm just looking at my laces here that I want to use. What do I want to use? All right, let's just do this. This is going to probably basically fit my whole plate. Let's use this. Okay. And roll this in. So it makes a nice design in here. And then I'm going to also do some um, embossing folders at the bottom here where I didn't get, you can't barely see that. Right down here, I think it's it's not covering. And then I also just want to just in places use a little bit of um, just for extra design. Use um, some embossing folders. So we'll use the uh, license plate one right here at the bottom. And once you start doing this, it's so addicting. This is like I said, is a bunch of like a computer board or something, which I think is fabulous. So I'll put that right here. And 
and what else? Whatever I, whatever I, my hands hit. Oh, I love this one. This is a bunch of um, like stamps. Let's do that right here, and then we'll pull it. Okay. And I want to pull a lot of, I want to pull a lot off of here. So let's use, let's use another, let's use this parchment paper. Now this isn't the type of parchment paper that you get in the, um, that you cook with. It's in the, uh, was in the fine art section, which I got on clearance. Um, so it's a real thick type of paper. It's not exactly like cardstock, but it's nice and thick. So it really wants to pull, helps really pull off um, the paint and the design off the plate. All right, let's see what we get. And the reason I like to do these ones that are different shades of black and white is um, I like to do, like, do a collage that's like shades of black and white. Like all, I use all shades of black and white, black, white, gray, um, beige, you know. And those are really beautiful collages too. When you limit your colors. Oh, this is gorgeous. I absolutely, oh, look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Really pretty. I love it. All right, we're going to leave. That's a great one. Now, I got a lot of stuff still left on this plate. So I'm going to put on just the rose gold to help pull the rest of this off the plate. And I'm going to go back to that one. That I'm going to go back to that piece of paper that we did where nothing came up off the plate and see what happens on there. Okay. Remember this one sitting over here where nothing came up on it? Let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens. And this will be our last one. We'll kind of finish things up here. We've been on here an hour. It doesn't even feel like an hour. That was fast, wasn't it? It doesn't even feel like an hour at all. I gotta look at it, but it just. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. This looks so old wall. So old world. Okay, look at this. Isn't that cool looking? See, this is a really prime one because there's not a ton of design in it, but there's a ton of old wall in it. Like an old cement wall would be really good to do some, um, um, some, um, like Asian writing, uh, Asian, Asian script on it or some, uh, Asian stenciling or my own intuitive stenciling or my own intuitive, um, scripting and some stamping over this. It's such a good base for that. It's a great piece just to collage with too. To throw a bunch of um, like um, intuitive symbols or like uh, I do a lot of African and native like Native American symbols 
this is a great base for that. Or you can just tear it up and put it in collage because it's beautiful. I really like that. That is gorgeous. You wouldn't think shades of black and white could be that interesting, but it looks good. All right, we still, I, I don't know what we have left on here, but let's pull the rest of this up, okay? So to pull this up, I'm gonna use this gold again, this rose gold. <laughs> People are like, girl, you like that rose gold. I like it to pull up stuff off of the plate and I also like it to do the glazing. And then I'm going to use gold, just regular gold. I really love the rose gold for glazing too. It's one of my favorites. And it was sitting on my desk so I said, okay, let me just use that one. Probably because it's my favorite. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use the parchment paper again. You can also, if, if you have print, just printer paper at your house, you can use printer paper. If you have magazine pages, which I didn't do a magazine page. I wanted to do a magazine page on the, um, on the uh, plate. I just did roll-off sheets that I showed you. Um, you can do that too. Magazines, oh my God, I don't know why, but they take the paint so good. They pull it off, they pull it off good. Um, they collage down well. They feel so good in the hand. Acrylic paint on magazine pages feels wonderful. I know it sounds weird. It sounds like it wouldn't work, but it works beautifully. And it collages down really nice. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, very cool. Remember I told you your last print when you're pulling off whatever's on the plate? Look how clean the plate is. There's a little bit of stuff left on here, but we're gonna leave the plate like this. I like a little bit left on here because then this will come off and it'll be a nice little base for when we start again, okay? For another jelly printing session. But look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look how old wall it is. And I don't know if you can see the metallic in it or not. I'm gonna just... This is beautiful. Again, this would be great to do scripting over Asian symbols, African symbols, native symbols, uh, my own tune of symbols, um, uh, stamping, or just use it in collage just the way it is. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that metallic on there or not. I love it. Look how cool this, this is just whatever was left on the plate. It's when you get some of your coolest stuff is whatever's left on the plate. Love it. So you guys, that's the end of this session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've had a, quite a few requests. People are like, girl, are you going to jelly plate ever again? Are you going to jelly print? <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I slowed up on my jelly printing over the last like month maybe six weeks because I had, I, you guys, I have so many jelly prints. It's ridiculous. So I needed to use some of them and I have used some of them and I've also shown how to organize them. Um, I made a thing called ephemera journals and it's an, a, it's a working journal where it has an elastic band in the middle and you can store a bunch of uh, jelly prints, printables, whatever papers that kind of go together and you can put them all together in these, um, in these ephemera journals and their work they're working ephemera journals so that you can just pull papers out of them and all those papers papers work together so look that up i'll try to put how to make a jelly plate at the end of this video and also um how to make that ephemera journal okay all right you guys that is it for this one um if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd love for you to do so if you can give this video a thumbs up any comments or questions leave them below come visit me on facebook and instagram one quick thing I have a group called Our Magical Little Place, and um, I have a group called Our Magical Little Place, and um, come join it, and if you do some jelly printing, show us, share with us your jelly prints. 
And if you don't do this and you knit, crochet, do it, some type of crafting, arting, um, come share it with us. So the, the link is below. Also, in my Etsy shop, I sell my printables. Like, I can turn this into a printable, okay? And some of these will be turned into printables and put in my Etsy shop, okay? These are all jelly prints. This is what I'm talking about. I draw like Coco Pellies and do all kinds of neat stuff on on top of my jelly prints. So I kind of push them further. This has stamping on it. It has some of my um, in, uh, intuitive writing on it. So these kind of jelly prints are in my um, Etsy shop, okay? So I do all kinds of stuff like this. But anyway, so if you want it, every five pages is like $2.50, so it's really super affordable. Also, my artwork is in there. I have journals where I take my artwork and I make them into journals. Oh, I take my artwork, print it out, and apply it to the front of journals. And um, those are in my Etsy shop too. So you can check those out if you'd like. And that is it for this one, you guys, for this session. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, make sure you join the group. And I would love to see your work. If it's this or it's something else. Okay? Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.